Good morning, guys. It's Miss Coconut. How are you doing? I haven't talked to y'all in a while. I have been busy crafting candles. So, you know, I'm offering the Prosperity and the Goddess Love candles now. And I'll stick the information up on my community page. Thank you so much for supporting me. I appreciate all of you dearly. Thank you for watching my videos and leaving your comments. I even like the crazy comments. I like the comments where y'all curse me out. I like the comments where you troll me. And I like the comments where you think you're informing me. <laughs> anyway, the other day, um, this awesome sister was really upset about the fact that her selenite was broken okay it got broken in the home and um you know it affected her so i wanted to make this you know very quick video to just illustrate the fact that most things in life that we become attached to they either get broken or taken away from us or get old and lose its luster um, because it's teaching us the lesson of detachment but also the greater lesson of transmutation. So when things lose their value or lose their usage, you can begin to look at it in a different light, in a different way, okay? So when her selenite wand broke, I told her, well, you could make a powder out of it or you can make a spray out of it. So today I'm just going to show you a quick recipe. I mean, you can make up your own recipe, do do what you want. So the first thing, though, when a crystal breaks, I say, look at it as a sign. And what is the sign telling you? Only you would know. Look at the practical part about it. Did a child get a hold of it? Did you, you know, place it somewhere in a precarious location and it just fell? Or is it a stone that's very fragile? Okay. In this case, it was the selenite wand. And that stone is easily damaged, okay? It's very soft. That's why they tell you don't cleanse it with water because it would deteriorate. Did I say that right? <laughs> Do I mess up a word every video? So after you look at the practical reasons why the crystal broke or was lost or stolen, etc., because it kind of applies. When you're looking at signs, you look at everything from a practical standpoint. It's just like when you're sick. You don't just go straight for the metaphysical. Look at the practical. If I'm dehydrated, that could account for why I'm having headaches, and it might be because I'm not drinking water. It's not always just because someone's attacking you, okay? So you look at the practical reason. And then you look, like I said, the makeup of the stone itself. Um, selenite is very soft, so anything can damage it, okay? All right, and so some, in some ways, the signs could be telling you there's an issue in your life, take care of a problem, see things in a different manner, fix it. Like if my amethyst, um, not amethyst, if my rose quartz crystal gets broken or stolen or lost, it reminds me to look at the matters of my heart. How am I dealing with life emotionally? How am I feeling about my relationships? Whether I'm in a relationship that's good and wholesome and healthy, am I cultivating good relationships with my family and friends, etc. So you want to look at the spiritual piece as well, okay? And then you can choose to look at it. Oh, it broke. Maybe I need to give, you know, the other half to someone else, okay? So I want to think about regifting it when it breaks, all right? Maybe it's a sign that something has been broken in your life and doors are opening. So it's not always a bad thing when these stones break, all right? It can be good luck. So anyway, selenite is great for lots of things. But one thing I love about it, it is great for removing negativity, absorbing negativity, or keeping negativity away. So what I decided to do with mine, and I wanted to show the young lady this, is that you can take the broken pieces of the selenite and immerse them in water. I have Florida water and spring water in this bowl. And I'm just going to allow this to sit under the fullest moon light. And you can do it for one day. You can do it for three days. When you do your rituals, get comfortable with doing what you feel, how you're being led by your spirit. Don't really get caught up in books because you will keep stumbling, right? 
Um, so this is a ritual that you are going to craft, all right? So you can say some words if you like. You can, you know, move your wand over the water if you like. You can stick your finger in it. Now, I just want to advise the way selenite works when it breaks down, it flakes off. So you want to make sure that you are being careful about where you are going to put it and also about handling handling it with your hands because it has little slivers you want to be careful about breathing it in okay and of course you're not going to drink this water this water after you let it sit for your ritual time you're just going to pour around the parameters of the house if you have pets use common sense okay and um i like the idea of keeping this in a glass container on an altar somewhere and repeating the ritual every so often when you feel like you need a protection grid around the home. So this is for the outside of the home or the outside of the apartment. Um, you know, if you have an apartment with just the front door, the front and the back, etc. Okay. And now I want you to think about other ways that maybe you could use broken pieces of your crystals instead of mourning the loss think of how you can change the outcome and maybe get a new use for an old item well thank you so much for listening to me today and as always om shim rezi